When you cook with any kind of alcohol, it's important to sort of realize what kind of alcohol it is, the sugar content of that alcohol, and in many cases, the things that you would pair it with when you would be drinking it are oftentimes the very self-same things you can cook it with. Red wine is great with beef as much as it is great to cook with beef. You would ser serve sauteed mushrooms and onions with beef. You can use red wine in that self-same saute. Now that doesn't mean it's a hard and fast rule and you can never use red wine with seafood or that you can never use white wine with uh, beef or it's accoutrement. So the thing with bourbon, is generally you have a lot of smokier notes, um, some of the more honey, caramel, maybe butterscotchy notes. The thing that's sort of different about the Red Stag by Jim Beam for me, and I guess what kind of drew me to the product, is that unlike a typical bourbon, we're dealing with a bourbon that has notes of black cherry, a different bourbon that has notes of honey tea, and another one that has significant cinnamon notes. So then, all of a sudden, the very things that you would use a typical bourbon for, let's say, as a marinade, or to flame something off, or to caramelize, suddenly you can go, wait a minute, I can add a black cherry element to it. So that's why, for example, in a dish like this with the duck, cherry and duck have gone together since time immemorial from French cuisine and onward. Uh, Asian dishes much like this. So there you can take the caramelization and those beautiful honey notes that you might use with poultry and bourbon, I mean bourbon chicken. Every, every mall in the country has somebody with a little toothpick handing you some kind of bourbon chicken. So you take the notion of bourbon and poultry, now you up the game with better bourbon than you're, ever, than you're likely to get in most places, and then a black cherry element. Um, in terms of um, cooking with it, the cool thing is the alcohol cooks out. But that's really the key. Cook out the alcohol, reserve the flavor. And as much as I love the drinks, and that's kind of, I think, why I'm so stoked to pair with Bobby G, is that the drinks are really awesome. And uh, if you are a bourbon drinker, all I wanted to do is make the dishes that would further bring out the, fur the, the flavor of it. So I think that it could go the other way, too. You could have a great bourbon drink, and much like when you go to a scotch tasting, like you get the smoked cheeses, cured fish, smoked fish, these are the type of dishes, bacon and blue cheese and poultry and and, uh, and sweeter things. I think that these dishes pair with bourbon in as much as they're great cooked with bourbon.